Hi there, and welcome to the Westmoreland Museum of American Arts Virtual Enrichment Program, Talking American History Using American Art. Now while the museum remains closed to the public, we'll be dropping these videos about once a week in addition to our other materials in order to help you get your cultural fix during this difficult time. My name's Patrick, I'm the museum's school programs manager, and I'd like to welcome you to my humble apartment. Now I know what you're thinking. Is this guy really as boring as the blank white wall behind him indicates? Well, quite frankly, yes he is. And it is as boring here as it would seem. But until the museum reopens, this is what you get. Good news is you won't be seeing me or this blank white wall very much in this video series. The goal of this series isn't necessarily to talk about art history, uh, the style, color, um, the symbolism within the painting or the object. That's not me. That's not my bag. That's not my background. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use an object from our collection or from our temporary exhibition space, and we're going to use that object to explore a facet of American history in a brief amount of time. So with that said, on today's segment, we'll be featuring Frederick Brown's John Henry from the museum's temporary exhibition, African American Art in the 20th Century, as we take a look at one of America's greatest legends. American history is rife with myths and folklore. Johnny Appleseed planted all those trees. Paul Bunyan inadvertently created the Grand Canyon by dragging his axe behind him. And of course, George Washington slept in every bed in this nation. I mean, there's a good chance that he slept in my bed at one point or another. There are hundreds of these stories, and arguably the most well-known story is that of John Henry. The steel driving legend is the subject of countless ballads, stories, poems, cartoons, and movies. According to lore, John Henry was a mountain of a man, well over six feet tall, well over 200 pounds of solid muscle. And the artist's depiction of Henry indicates the man's size as he takes up the entire foreground of the painting, which measures in at about 84 inches by 60 inches. Now, John Henry was the fastest, strongest steel driver working the railroad during the late 1800s. He was unstoppable. It's safe to say he was almost a force of nature. Now, when a traveling salesman stops at the location where John Henry is working and tries to sell the, a, a, a new technology, this steam drill, claiming it could outwork any human steel driver, well, Henry, of course, accepted that challenge. And when the dust settled, all was said and done, Henry defeated that steam drill in a feat of superhuman strength and endurance. But the victory was short-lived as Henry died immediately after from the exertion of that contest. According to scholarship from the last century, there is a kernel of truth to the legend of John Henry. However, who he was and where he was has been the topic of debate amongst historians. Oral histories collected by folklorist Louis Chappell and sociologist Guy Johnson in the late 1920s, early 1930s, from folks who claimed that they knew John Henry, placed him at Big Bend Tunnel near Talcott, West Virginia in 1870. But to many historians, the evidence supporting those claims is rather weak. Historian Scott Reynolds Nelson, after years of research, claimed in his book, Steel Driving Man, published in 2006, that Henry was a former enslaved African American who was then imprisoned under false charges and then contracted to the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad Company to drive steel through the Lewis Tunnel in Virginia in 1873. And lastly, emeritus professor of chemistry at the University of Georgia, John Garst, argues that Henry, another former enslaved African American, worked the Columbus and Western Railway when the contest took place in what is the Oak Mountain Tunnel in 1887 near Leeds, Alabama. Other accounts have John Henry in 10 different states. One even has him in Jamaica. That's right, John Henry has his own George Washington slept here moment. So which account is true? There is no consensus and I honestly don't know. 
Now, what I do know is that John Henry is much more than the story of a steel-driving man. His is the story that is celebrated by African Americans. His is the story that is celebrated by America's labor force. His is the story of a man who looked at the insurmountable, at the unthinkable, and he took them head on with all of his might and defeated all the odds. He is American spirit personified. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at one of America's greatest legends. And if you have any questions about Frederick Brown's John Henry, please feel free to leave them in the comments section and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be kind, be safe, and good luck.